a door here. Some towers. Some more towers. Sounds pretty good as well. Hatching forward. Some stippling. Some more lines. And here with this hoodie. This hat. Here with this skeleton. We have some. I was obsessed with Birkenstocks back then. Thought they were really cool looking. Hello, and welcome to my second video on my sketchbook. We have a few more pages to go through, so without further ado, Let's get started. Now on this first page, I have some dragons. Uh, dragon portrait view. Dragon ants view. And I have this castle right here. Okay, let's go to the next page. Now, I think I said this in, in the last video, but all of these drawings were done mostly around the time of um, 2018 to 2019. I don't think any drawings in here are actually um, 2020. Um, I have more sketchbooks to the left of me that are actually, uh, one's older and one's actually from 2020. I'll show you the 2021 um, next time, but for right now, another castle. I was really fascinated with castles. And just architecture, 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 architecture in general. Now, this castle was one of the first castles drawn somewhat well. You see the door here? Some towers. Some more towers. Some fences. Some windows. Some walls. Some walls. Is it is there roofs or Roofs, roof, roof, but yeah, so back then I was pretty interested in um, medieval things like dragons and castles because I played the game Skyrim a lot and that is still today is my game in the world. Um, <laughs> here's another little funny drawing, but um, I think it's s supposed to be um, Chuck E. Cheese. But this right here was from a album cover, and they put the Chuck E. Cheese um, guy's face album cover, I think it was a bear in the album cover, so yeah, next page, experimenting with colors some more, I don't know what color this would be, but it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool, pretty nice, pretty cool, pretty nice, pretty nice, um, this was some oil pastel, Some hatching, some hatching, 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 hatching. I'm just gonna skip through some of these pages and get to the cool stuff. Oh wow, okay. Now, I know that my sketchbook isn't necessarily full of mostly drawings, but it's full, filled up with 
things like this. <laughs> um, this is from when I was doing, I think, TikTok. So what I did was I would write something like this, write something like this, and I would do a transition to the actual drawing. And that's when I uh, drew those uh, anime skulls. So like Naruto, uh, Sasuke, um, Vegeta, Goku, all of them. So this is from my TikTok days. I don't think I have TikTok now, but um, yeah, it was pretty fun to do that back in the day. I just couldn't sustain it because it was very um, creative heavy. I had to be pretty creative with it. Sorry for that loud, that super loud car. But next, we have some robots. Sketch redrawing of Robot. So Robot was a drawing that I did um, a while ago before this. And it was of a robot that I created in my head. And this is basically the redrawing process of it. Um, this is in portrait view. This is in three quarters or side view, as I put there. We have the arms, the legs, the head, which was heavily inspired by the Soltron. It's called from Fallout 4. Um, so this was the final product or the final sketch. I actually have the final drawing somewhere around here. Um, I will actually show you that right now so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. And this right here is the drawing. This is the product with a lot of stippling. The paper sounds pretty good as well. drawing um if i had to guess how many hours it took i would say maybe about seven six hours to complete the whole thing in total so yeah this was the final drawing of the robot put it to the side and let's you. Another cool page. So for this, so for this part, I actually have a sketch of one of my favorite monsters from any movie. This is No Face from Spirited Away. He is a very, very creepy, but very, very cool character. So uh, I had two designs that I want to do. This was my first one, I presume. This right here is my second one. And this is the one that I want to wound up going for. Um, it was very, very fun doing this. It took me a couple days to finish it, but it was very, very good. Um, I would say it's probably one of my favorite drawings that I've ever done. Um, and I'll show you that, actually, right now. So I'm back, and this right here is the drawing. It took me a while to do everything, as you could imagine. Really, really hatching forward, some stippling, some more lines, some 
gold. So what I did was I actually went on Amazon and I bought some gold flakes. Got some glue. Just glued them into this one. So from far away it looks pretty. It stands out pretty well. If you know the movie, then you know why they have gold flakes on them. But yeah, this is one of my favorite drawings I've done. Um so yeah. If you haven't seen Spirit Away, it's a really good movie. I think it's a lot of people's favorite, 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 favorite film of all time. So that's saying a lot. So yeah, let's continue. Oh wow, 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 wow. Okay, so I know this is pretty minimal color, but it's, it looks like a full illustration of Jack, 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 he's killing Tony, he's killing Tony, he's killing Tony, from A Nightmare Before Christmas, A Nightmare Before Christmas, something like that, um, I don't know if I'm correct or not, but I'm sure right here okay anyway um so this was my first little uh catch of it very very loose very very stylized this is my second one more of my style well back then more cartoony but very detailed was my style back then my style now is more uh realism and less cartooniness but there is at least some element of cartoony because that is probably one of my favorite styles. No Harry. Um, ooh, okay, so this is my character. Um, his name is... Well, back then his name was... Wanderer. And he wore this hoodie. This hat. He is a skeleton. Although, this movie is scary skeleton. Shout out, Haley Elizabeth. A little vulture or a turkey vulture. Turkey vulture. Over here, I actually have a um, better explanation for why I did the drawing. So basically, I think I did challenge i think i did a challenge that was um 30 second three minutes and 30 minutes so this might have right right here yeah, okay this right here might have been the 30 minute jack skeleton drawing sorry it's more cartoon but yeah that's Alright, another coloring page, um, so this was for fashion class, um, I think it was for fashion class, it might, it might not have been, it might just been for fun, but this was kind of things that I took from some, okay, sorry for that cut, but I ran out of space on my phone, so I had to get rid of some apps, but as I was saying, um, I got a lot of these designs from celebrities and from myself. Um, I used to wear a black hoodie all the time back then. I used to wear black everything, so I used to wear, but not any black forces. Never for that. Um, but I did uh, rock a black hoodie with black pants and some, I think I had white and black vans most of the time but they were the vans for old schools so but this vest right here his vest and his t-shirt combo was heavily inspired by Jane Smith in the um I'm not sure what video but 
he did he, he wore this um this outfit in that video this right here i don't know what this is part by but he has some birkenstocks 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 i was obsessed with birkenstocks back then i thought they were really cool looking i thought they would be very very comfortable they might be i still don't have a pair right now but um maybe i might get a pair in the future um we have some Vans and some Balenciagas. Never one of these, but oh, oh, it says drawing from memory Balenciaga. So these might might not be how they look like, but yeah, and these are drawing from memory Vans. Look really good at drawing shoes, but this is how I imagine they look like, I guess. Next page. weren't that bad for back then um they were actually um, watercolors um i have a nose right there i have a skull where these skulls are if you couldn't tell and here is my character again So this is from side view. So, so side view, front facing, back view. The wander, the wander. Was trying to be pretty edgy with that name, I guess. This deer, deer skull character. Um, I have a few drawings of him, um, wanderer, and this guy. I forget his name, but yeah, he was there. Uh, and it was heavily inspired by GTA, uh, with with like the the, the bag over the head um, that you can buy. So yeah, and where. This was Krampus, yeah, so, I mean, that's basically it for this one, but, um, one thing that I really wanted to do was draw faces, because those, those faces are arguably one of the hardest things to draw ever, uh, besides, like, the body and, like, in my opinion, like, architecture. This is our, one of the hardest things to, to draw. So I've been studying for most of 2021 uh, on faces. I've been on and off, love and hate, but it's been a pretty interesting journey. I've gotten, I've gotten a lot better uh, than this um, now. Um, I understand the planes of the head, I understand the bottom plane of the nose, top plane of the nose the bridge to understand the bones the cheekbones aka the maxillary the mandible or the jaw nasal bone but yeah next okay so here we go again with this character I really do like this character, but um, I haven't really done too much with him. I think he's pretty creepy, which is the point. Um, he is actually my profile pic, but I still don't know his name. But I really, 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 really like him. So, yeah. And then here is another uh, example of a challenge that I did. Instagram. So here we are. So um, Seth, one minute, ten minute, thirty minute challenge. So I can.
do this on the, on the channel. I can do it in real time and have a reference picture, like maybe up here, and I can just draw like that or whatever. But um, that will be a really, really cool video, I think. It will show you how I uh, process details and things. Because um, now I do it a lot differently than back, in, back then. Um, back then, I used to do it um, mostly from gest gestures. Um, but now I do it mostly from shapes um, and forms. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Bam. Bam. Pretty cool. Oh, wait. And it says 2019. So back then I was maybe 17. 17. Because I'm 19 right now. right here is actually the last drawing in the sketchbook um it is of a werewolf um and i put some new paper clippings on it for a uh a scroll project um a art project actually and you're supposed to like create a image with a newspaper race. it was very very hard and i didn't know how to do it so i gave up on it halfway through it visit this type of uh, drawing in the future but for right now this is how this is my sketchbook tour um of the 2018 to 2019 sketchbook um so i hope you all enjoyed the video